Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Democracy 3. Mine, of course, is Aubrey Potato, and today we are playing something a little bit different. So I've gone on to the Steam Workshop, and I've installed a couple of mods. And, uh, and one of the countries that I installed as a mod was the Russian Federation. So I thought, let's give that a go. Why not? Um... I don't really know what our playstyle is going to be for this. We're just going to try and fix the problems because I've had a quick look and Russia's got uh, quite a few problems, as as you can probably guess. Um, we should probably be the national front, I guess, and we can be against the the Green Party. I don't think it really matters at all. But uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Click that play button and get thrown into this game at the deep end. Right. Congratulations on your election victory. Um, yeah, okay, awesome. New job as president, 143 million citizens. GDP is low. Health is average. Education is below average, I would say. Poverty is above what I'd like it to be. And crime is actually quite low. Unemployment is way too high, though. So I think our first two problems are going to be getting unemployment down and GDP up. Also, um, we need to have a look at how much debt we're in. We're in a heck of a lot of debt. That's 486 billion rubles, because rubles is the uh, the currency, or the ruble is the currency that is used in Russia. Uh, on the uh, on the downside as well, it looks like we are in the midst of a global economic disaster. GDP is flatlining. The global economy is on the way out, and uh, our expenditure is way way higher than our income. So that is not great. In fact, that's pretty darn terrible um so yeah hello and welcome to democracy 3 we're playing as russia hope you enjoy um what is this alcohol abuse this is costing us five billion rubles per turn so that's uh that's something that we want to get rid of um we've already got community policing enacted that's pretty much almost at its max there's no point spending political cap in fact zero political capital to raise that oh that's lovely um, could raise it further, but I don't think we're really going to. What is this? Ban Sunday shopping. That's fine. That doesn't really matter for us. We are a pretty religious country. So we need to be on top of that. We need to make the electric like us again. We've got five years to do so, so that's not going to be one of our uh, very, very pressing priorities, I would say. Uh, this asthma epidemic, uh, it's all right. It's not too much of a problem. Tax evasion... Yeah, tax evasion is a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Um, we'll we'll try and work on that as well. We have a we have a very uncompetitive economy. That is annoying. We can get rid of that as well, hopefully. And we have a technology backwater, which is hurting our GDP. Great. And of course, we have a homelessness crisis. Just beautiful. Just what we need. So all in all, this country is in pretty bad shape, and we need to turn it around. How are we going to do that? Well, we've got to have a list of priorities. Priority number one is definitely alcohol consumption down. If we get alcohol consumption down, then uh, it will... In fact, maybe that's not our first priority. Maybe that's not our first priority. Maybe GDP is our first priority. Hmm. Perhaps tax evasion? There's just there's so much to do, I don't really know where to start. Um, homelessness? No, okay, okay, let's let's just pick an easy thing uh, that we can deal with. Let's try and deal with this massive amount of debt that we have. Uh, and the global economy is going down, GDP is flatlining, not a great place to be. Let's try and reduce our expenditure. Yeah, let's try and do that. Military spending, can we cut back on military spending a little bit? It's going to cost us 19 political capital, but we can save a heck of a lot. It's going to increase unemployment, though. That's not really what we want to do. If we increase unemployment, then that's an increase in crime. State schools. This is going to reduce our education. But at the same time, probably necessary. It is going to increase unemployment. Poor people will like us less. Socialists will like us less. But I think we've got to do it. Let's cut back on, uh, on schools. So we have a lot of socialists. That does not surprise me. That's fine, we can deal with that. Um, but hopefully we should be able to balance the books next turn because uh, because we did cut back on schools. 
Okay, we have a very poor interest rate. And our GDP has further fallen. Great. Fantastic. Um wow. This is this is going to be difficult. This is going to be really challenging. We're still of course in a global recession, which is less than ideal. 15% of people would vote for us. That's nice. That is very nice. We need to kickstart our economy, and uh, well, well, to be honest, we have two options. We can either increase spending a lot uh, and hope that it will spur investment in our country and bring our income up over our expenditure, but during that period of time, we will incur lots more debt. Alt alternatively, we cut back on our spending, and uh, and we and we take a period of of austerity, and uh, and that'll that'll sort of protect us from the loan sharks and hopefully it'll make our interest rates go down. So it's either short term increase in debt or a short term decrease in debt or a long term decrease in debt should I say. Uh, I think we're probably going to go for the short term decrease in debt purely because that is the biggest problem for us. I don't know how much we're actually paying in uh, are we not we're probably in debt interest look that's nine point four Four five billion. Imagine if we had that extra nine point four five billion. If we had that extra nine point four five billion, then we wouldn't be in debt in the first place. So that is clearly the problem uh, that we need to address very, 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 very urgently. Uh, threat assessment. Great. Wow. We've got a whole bunch of people that are on our tails. Oh my goodness. Um. Wow. This could be a short playthrough. <laughs> this could be a very short playthrough indeed. Uh, state pensions. Let's cut back on these. Okay, that's fine. And next turn, we are going to go for the military. I know we, we didn't really want to do that, but at the same time, I think it's pretty much essential. Um, Unfortunately, unemployment is up, poverty is up. That's what we expected. But there's not much we can do about that, to be honest. Um, Okay, so our income is just shy of our expenditure. We just need to chop an extra $3 billion off that defense budget, uh, off the military spending, should I say. And perhaps we can go further than that. We take it down to round about five billion. Yeah, the five billion mark. That'd be nice. And then we apply the changes. So we're going to see an increase in unemployment and in poverty, which is going to be bad, probably for crime and probably for this homelessness crisis, even though it can't get any worse. Um. So yeah, it's not going to be great, but we've got to do it, I think. Uh, freedom of information. Well, do the liberals like us? No, they don't really. Let's propose that. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, and then let's go to the next turn. Uh, I know we've still got 13 political capital to spend, but we're not going to spend it. We're just going to hold on to it for now and see what happens. Superhero, crime and violent crime down. That's good. That is good. Credit rating downgraded. Why? Why was it downgraded? Our income is still not as high as our expenditure. And that that interest rate increase is going to hurt us. Don't get me wrong, that is going to hurt us badly. We need, we're going to need to cut harder and faster than we've ever cut before. Uh, look, that debt interest is our single largest expense now. That's crazy. Okay, you're going to start to reduce over time. That's nice. State schools, we've already cut you. State housing, haven't cut you yet, but we're going to. Road building, yep, you can get slashed. Let's bring you down to the absolute lowest of the low. Don't care if motorists hate me. Um... State pensions, we've already cut back on them severely. State housing, I think... I don't really want to cut back on state housing because we do have a housing crisis. Um, oh, it's not good. It's not good at all. I, I don't think our income is going to be higher than our expenditure. Income, 100. Expenditure, oh, it is. It is, miraculously. GDP has picked up a slight bit. That's good. We need that. Our income needs to be higher. We need we need to spur growth. We need we need more income. We need to introduce some more taxes. Um let's look at our threat assessment first. Okay, it's holding steady. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. Okay, we need to introduce taxes. Now's the time for tax. How much can the carbon tax give us? 63 billion. Uh, I don't really want to introduce the carbon tax. I think the flat income tax is probably more appropriate for what we're looking for at the moment. Uh, the carbon tax would, would further increase our uncompetitive economy. That's not really what we want to do. 
corporation tax and uh, and carbon tax both have an uh, an increasing effect on this uncompetitive economy modifier. So we don't really want to go for that. So I think what we're going to go for is we're going to go for the flat income tax. Yeah, property tax that would get us 16 billion. The matching tax, 8.7 billion. Socialists like matching taxes, but that would increase brain drain, and we really don't want to do that. Recreational drugs tax, not be useful. Automation tax, that could be something that we introduce later on. Socialists tend to like that sort of thing. Um, I think we're just going to introduce the flat income tax. It's going to take all of our political capital and it's going to make everybody very, very unhappy with us. But at the same time, we need the money. Um, it's going to increase tax evasion. That's that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. Um, ban same-sex marriage. I don't think Russia would go for same-sex marriage. They're pretty anti-same-sex marriage-y. So we're going to be faithful to that. Extreme nationalism. Oh, beautiful. Great. That's, uh, that's another problem that we'll need to deal with. Street gangs. Worrying. Worrying indeed. Credit rating has been upgraded. Good. GDP is still pretty darned low. We need, a, we need, we need the global economy to, to get its act together. Okay, the interest rate has gone down back to three C's or whatever it was. Yes, yeah, triple C. Um, our debt is starting to come down, and we're we're looking to probably pay off a hundred a hundred or so billion per turn. Uh, I think that's that's what we need to aim for. Armed religious communities? Are you kidding me? Really? Oh great! Oil pipeline attacked. Oh, not good. You're not happy. But that's fine. Our uh, our debt is going down, and our interest rates are going to be going to be lower. We're going to save a lot of money. We are going to save an awful lot of money. However, I think we should probably invest. Uh, our police force is already maxed out in spending. Wow. Um, armed police. Can can you go further? I suppose you could. We don't really want to. Um, intelligence services. You could reduce crime. No, let's let's not do that. Let's just assess the situation first. Crime is pretty low. It's violent crime. It's pretty low, but it could get higher. Crime is on the increase, so it's clear we need to do something about that. Handgun laws. This is probably the right thing to do. A total ban. Um, I think we're going to go for that. That's going to reduce the armed religious communities. That's a bit crazy. That's that's really really insane. Everybody is religious in this country. One hundred percent of the population. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be really difficult to deal with. Uh, never really had to deal with a religious country before. Uh, credit ratings been upgraded. Fantastic. GDP is still absolutely tragically low. Wow! Look, our credit rating is now triple. Is now double A, should I say? That's really really impressive. Our uh, our series of, of tax introductions and, and expenditure reductions have really, really helped. Uh, definitely. Okay, so now we need to sort of do the, the careful balancing act of, uh, of dealing with the socialists, who are the majority of our country, and the capitalists who actually make our country money. Which is, uh, which is less than ideal. Labor laws, where are they? They're right in the very middle. That's fine. Let's leave them there. Well, that, that is good. That is good. Um, capitalists have trading delays. Can we reduce this? Might make capitalists a little bit more happy with us. I think we're probably going to do that. Yeah. It's going to increase GDP by a tiny, tiny bit. But that could be enough um, for what we need. So I think going down the route of high taxation is probably good. However, socialists are starting to get a little bit annoyed with us. Mortgage tax relief. Can we cancel this policy? We're going to cancel it next turn. That's what we're going to do. We're going to cancel this policy next turn. Socialists are once again going to be happy with us. Good. Socialist plot. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Skills shortage. That's worrying. That's further going to reduce our GDP. Oh my goodness me. One more turn of this and then we can really increase our spending. Uh, mortgage tax relief. 
Where is that? Yep, it's here. We're gonna cancel this policy. Or no, we can't. No, we c no, we cannot. Okay, we need to introduce policies that socialists are happy with, like quickly. Dead hand. What is this? What on earth? Implement the second strike policy for the motherland. This will assure that in a government collapse, the military will still be able to fire off missiles. Uh, yeah, I guess that sounds cool. Um, we'll we'll hopefully deal with that later on. Um, okay. What do we need? Trade union restrictions? No, definitely not. Okay, we want the cap CEO pay multiplier. We need popular policies. Okay. It's going to increase this uncompetitive economy. Nonsense. Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. And then let's also get some more socialist policies. What would people like? Welfare fraud department? Yeah, that's going to bring us in a heck of a lot of money. Why Why would the poor not like that? We we have a super high level of welfare fraud at the moment. Street gangs, we're going to need to increase spending in... Uh, armed police, yeah, boom, let's stick you up as well. What's this? Minimum wage? Introduce the law. Why not? And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to call it there. Next time uh, you return to, to watch me play this... Hopefully we'll be in a, a slightly better position and we'll work towards a, a better Russia in the, in the next in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Albert Potato. If you've enjoyed them, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!